Okay, folks, here we go, getting on another freeway. I got a lot to cover, so we're probably going to take up the full 15 minutes. Hey, listen, we're going to talk about Matt Dillahunty. Uh, he's a radio host of the fictional Atheist Experience show. Well, he lost in debate. So I'm going to talk about his, his loss to a much wiser theist that believed in God. Uh, so we're going to talk about how Matt Dillahunty lost the debate. I'm going to bring up one huge error uh, of many, but I don't have time to go through all of them because i got other stuff I want to talk about that he made in the debate. Let's get ready to take this corner as this traffic gets out of the way. We're going to talk about, let's see, i got a little post-it note here with a bunch of things that I could talk about. We're going to talk about, uh, hold on, this, this dude this guy in the truck in front of me. Okay, we're going to talk about the amazing atheists on YouTube. I challenged him to a debate. Are you guys ready? Let's pick up throttle. And he chickened out. Here we go. Here we go. Welcome to my world. The world of concrete, steel, and bugs hitting your visor. <laughs> so, also I challenged non-stamp collector. What I like to do is the atheists that go around picking on Christians and calling them Christ bags and basically it's pretty pathetic. Some of these atheists, their whole life is to get people to hate Jesus Christ. That's their whole purpose in life. Um, I mean, it's pretty pathetic when if you're that type of person, you wake up and your whole goal is to get some young kid to hate Jesus Christ. You know, that's sad. It's kind of pathetic. But, that's what their goal is. My goal is to help people see the love and the salvation through Jesus Christ and to stick up for people that are Christians. So what I like to do is I like to challenge the atheists that act like they're all intellectual and intelligent when they're not. They're chickens non-stamp collector he's a big chicken he won't debate me uh the amazing atheist i like to call him the amazingly hellbound atheist i'm not happy about it i wish he would not choose hell but there's certainly nothing amazing with someone choosing hell the amazingly hellbound atheist he chickened out of a debate so would you guys do me a favor ask the amazing atheist and non-stamp collector why they're afraid to debate me i gave them three weeks both of them chickened out Okay, now let's talk about, get this, <laughs> you guys are going to find this interesting. If you look below this video, I'm going to put a bunch of links down there of videos that I'm talking about. But the most important one is shockonow.net, www.shockonow.net. We are getting thousands of people going there because I got videos there, for example, of Matt Dillahunty failing and losing in debate. I got videos there of the Amazing Atheist, th 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 Thunderfoot losing a debate, Christopher Hitchens losing a debate, where the crowd actually starts laughing at him because he's evading questions. Uh, so, but let's talk about something that happened last night, which was great, and I'm going to pick up the throttle. I got to go to the right, to the left, and then back over to the right again. So, this freeway right here for. Okay, last night, signal. Last night, we um, had a bunch of atheists in the room, and I asked, uh, I was telling the atheists how, you know, they really have to either leave atheism or do something to improve just the horrible, vile, evil, disgusting, pathetic, sickening, horrible reputation that atheism has in society. And um, I started quoting Sam Harris. Now, for those of you that don't know Sam Harris, Sam Harris is known as one of the four horsemen of atheism. And Sam Harris finally admitted, yes, atheism does have a major problem. We've got to do something, he says, to improve really the horrible, evil image of atheism. Sam Harris compared atheists, you can find this video and audio on YouTube, he compared atheists, really, he said they have the same reputation, 
similar to child molesters. This is what Sam Harris said about atheists. There's two motorcycle guys right here in front of me, but I got to get over to the right. Um, and I think they're getting over to the right too. So let's see if I get you some good video. Wow, I got to get over right here. All right, get you some good video. Every time I do these videos on atheism, <laughs> I always look up with these motorcycle guys and it's awesome footage. So you'll be able to watch me try to keep up with these dudes here. I think one's on a big bike and one's probably on the 600 right below, right uh, behind him. So here's what happens. Let's, let's mosey up alongside. Let's see what my 1000 SB1000 can do. What's on a CBR, I believe? He, well, he's got a Honda shirt on. No, he is not on a CBR, I don't think. I can't see from the, from the back. Um, so, I brought this up and the atheist said, oh, I don't agree with Sam Harris. So, there was a woman in the, uh, the chat room, right? And I asked her, uh, she has a microphone and a video camera and stuff, and I asked her a question. And here's the question. I said, let's say you were a woman by yourself in a dark alley and there were 10 atheists coming down the alley. Let's say you knew beyond a shadow of a doubt they were atheists. Let's say, I don't know, there was an atheist convention in the area or something. So 10 atheists are, uh, it is a CBR, okay, I thought so. Let's see what this guy's on. This is the bike I like, this one here. Is that that VTR or something like that? Okay, so I'll give you guys some good footage of the camera, uh, the motorcycle fly up. I wish they would pick up speed though, we're kind of putt putting along. He's giving me the low down peace sign. So, he or she, I don't know. Uh, so I asked this lady, who do you feel you would be safer with? Who would you feel more safe if you were in a dark alley and you saw 10 atheists coming toward you, 10 atheist males, or if you were in a dark alley and you saw 10 Christians coming towards you with Bibles? And she laughed, she said, obviously she'd feel safer with the Christians. Now, atheists, ask yourself why. This is how horrible the reputation atheism has. Okay, let's see what else is on the agenda. Oh yeah, I, I had this atheist uh, come in to the uh, chat room right here below, shockandow.net. All right, here we go. We're three abreast here going side by side. And he said he wanted to debate me. So I'm like, okay. And, and by the way, I'm doing this video all the while while I'm trying to mirror these guys here. So, I'm like, okay, we can debate. So, um, now, I have to tell you something funny. I drank a lot of coffee, so I had to use the restroom. And these debates sometimes last, last like an hour, you know. So I had to use the restroom. So what I did, I have a confession to make, is I turned the speakers up so I could hear, I turned the speakers up on my computer real loud. So when I'm going down the hallway to the restroom, um, Hold on, this truck's getting over here, I think. Well, I'm going down the hallway to the restroom. Yes, there, no. I can hear the dude talking, right? So I'm like, well, I gave him 20 minutes. I said, look, you talk for 20 minutes. Give us some good arguments why we should believe atheism is true. And, um, uh-oh, I don't want to get boxed in here. Hold on. So he's like, okay. So <laughs> here's the funny part. So I start my stopwatch, this one that I have on right here, this this red stopwatcher, and I start it, and I'm running to the restroom, right? Because I drank a lot of coffee, coffee and soda. <laughs> Not a good combination. Now these guys are gonna go right, but I gotta go left. So I'm gonna have to break off here. So I, I go to the restroom, and as I'm in the restroom, I hear him talking, and, uh, peace out, guys. And basically, he talks, I'm not exaggerating, not even a minute. <laughs> it was so pathetic. He talked for 54 seconds. Um, and I'm like, oh my gosh, he's already done. I am not even down the hallway to go to the restroom. Um, so... 
basically all he said is, well, I don't, you know, agree with the with the biblical God, and it is true that God may exist, but not the Christian God. That's all he said, and he didn't give any arguments why or anything. It was absolutely pathetic, and he coming to debate. <laughs> so I wait a while, you know, because uh, I just got to the restroom. So finally, I go back into the office, and I'm I'm in my little office thing here, computer room, and I. Here we go. So I asked the dude, I said, is that it? I go, surely you weren't done. And yes, I'm calling you Shirley, I said. No. I said, so surely you weren't done. I go, you didn't even give any argument. <laughs> you didn't even give any arguments why atheism is true. It was absolutely pathetic. Listen, if you're a Christian, if you're a Christian, you have got to come to our chat room and, and see really how atheism is weak. Now, I know you guys, you're on YouTube and all the atheists seem real bold and everything. They're not. They're, they do not have any plausible arguments, any arguments at all, why we should even believe atheism is true. What's this guy doing? He's looking down in the bush. Um, so let's see what else I have on the agenda as we pull off here. Uh, okay, non-stamp collector chickened out. We cover that. Matt Dillahunty. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Matt Dillahunty uh, in debate. You know how... Hold on, I got a downshift and there's gravel here. Whoa. Whoa, almost lost it right there. I slipped a bit. What happened is there's oil here. Did you see that? How the it kind of drifted? Um, Matt Dillahunty... Uh, this guy's walking by. <laughs> Matt Dillahunty uh, was asked, do you believe there are any truths? Uh, well, here's what I'm going to do. Um, Matt has asked a question, and uh, he's asked if do you believe in enduring truth, truth that endures. Now, the answer is obviously yes. Um, but if you click below this video, Matt says, Oh, I don't know. This is what Matt, in debate, he's an atheist, he says he doesn't know, he doesn't understand truth. This is, this, you can see the video right below here. Now, let me unfog this. You have got to see uh, these two videos. They're amazing. If you click right below, shock, uh, right below this video right here. Okay, the, um, there's a video where Christopher Hitchens loses the debate. You'll see that right below. And there's another video where Matt Dillahunty, the video, the debate I'm talking about. There's another one where Matt Dillahunty, he's asked a question and he's confused and bewildered and, and he's fumbling and bumbling and he says he doesn't know. Well, don't go to a debate if you're not prepared, Matt. Gee, that's just horrible. Um, then, um, if also when you click below, you'll see Christopher Hitchens lose the debate. Now, I want to invite all the Christians, all this week, we are debating uh, Santa Claus worshipers, unicorn jockeys. We are debating people that worship the spaghetti monster. Now, all this week is Debate Atheist Week. And if you go right below here to shockonnow.net, www.shockonnow.net, Sometimes, I'm not kidding you guys, we get thousands of people going to that site. Sometimes the site's actually busy. Because it's not just the debate room. There's a bunch of videos, for example, of Thunderfoot losing the debate. You'll see Thunderfoot. I'll give you an example. They asked Thunderfoot in debate, he was asked, do you believe in the scriptures, you know, about the Bible? And Thunderfoot says, yes. I'm not kidding you. When you go here to www.shotcanal.net, click uh, links, L-I-N-K-S, and watch the third video of the Thunderfoot Ray Comfort <laughs> debate.